guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Today's video will be pretty fun. Today I will be going over donning and doffing PPE with you, aka putting on and taking off isolation garb. So let's quickly go over a few basics. First things first, put your hair up. Nobody wants to get their hair in environmental stool or some MRSA everything like that, and especially if you do have to wear a mask, if you're in airborne or droplet precautions, you don't want your mask to get caught in your hair. So first, put your hair up. Secondly, make sure everything you need is outside of your pockets, your stethoscope is off your neck, because once you're in that room, you cannot go digging in your pockets, nor can you go digging down trying to pull your stethoscope off your neck. Thirdly, make sure you have all your supplies. Most of our supplies are outside the patient room at the hospital I work at, but if you do not have that and you have the little bins outside the rooms, make sure you have the gloves that fit you, a mask, the correct mask, a gown, whether that's disposable or reusable. So in today's video, I will be going over contact precautions, I will be going over environmental, airborne, and droplets. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with contact precautions. For contact precautions, you are typically going into rooms with MRSA or VRE. So first you start with your gown. Make sure you do tie it up in the back of you. The back of you will always be considered clean. Make sure not to sit in these rooms. Next, you will grab your gloves, whatever size fits you best, put those on, and make sure the outside of the glove goes over top of the gown. That will give you more safety. Now let's take off our PPE for contact precautions. First, start with your gloves. Take the one off, roll it up in your other hand, then take your pointer finger and pull that second glove off so you never are touching the outside. Next, you go to the back of your gown where it's clean and take that off. Then you would shimmy your arms through your gown and this gown you would yank, but I will be reusing it, so I'm going to keep it on for video purposes. I did forget to mention that in the last clip, that would also be for environmental precautions because you do not need a face mask to go into environmental. Now, this would be for droplet or for airborne. So both of these, you gown up first, tie in the back. Next, you take your mask. So this is a droplet mask. This would be for RSV or for the flu. First, pinch at the nose, take the earpiece, put it around, then put the other one around. After that, you pull down underneath your chin. Try not to have a lot of gapping there so the droplets cannot get in. After that, you would simply just grab the correct size gloves for your hands and place those on and that is it for your droplet precautions, also for your airborne. Now bear with me, I will be going into more detail about airborne precautions after this, but this is how you take off your PPE when coming out of a droplet room. First, always remove your gloves as you had learned earlier in this video, then shimmy those arms out of your gown, then you would yank this one, but I will be pulling it over my face, which you would never want to do in the real world. Next, you would take your fingers and slide them behind and underneath your mask and pull it straight off, not touching the outside. Okay, so more about airborne precautions. Airborne precautions require a N95 mask, and they come in two different ways. There's the normal round one, or there's a duckbill. I don't have one today, so I'm going to makeshift this. You would take it and pull the first strap over your head, and that one would be at the top of your head, right there. Second, you would pull the lower strap over to hit the back of your head, at the lower nape of your neck. Then, you would put your gloves on the exact same way you would for any other type of precaution. Always put your gloves on last. And I do want to mention that for the N95 mask, you do have to be properly fit tested for this and your employer will do that. 
So this is not something you can go into an airborne room without being tested first. So now we're going into the removal process. So I took the gloves off, then you would rip the gown off, of course, never going over your head. Next, you would start with the mask again. So for your mask, you never want to touch the outside like I am doing though, but you would take off the bottom strap first. It is the opposite way of how you put it on. So bottom strap would come off first, then your top strap and remove it over top of your head and that's how you take an N95 off. And guys, that is it. It is that simple. Do not make it difficult. Yes, you will be tested on this in nursing school and you will be tested on the NCLEX most likely about this, about donning and doffing and PPE, but it truly is not that hard. If you think about the system of putting it on and then taking it off, it makes sense. Of course you're going to take your gloves off first because those are taking everything else off. So why would you put dirty gloves all over yourself, you know? I hope you found some educational tools out of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, follow me on Instagram. You always can email me at nursecatherinehere at gmail.com. Also, if you have any questions or if I wasn't too clear about something, comment below, go right ahead. Or if there is something I mistakenly said, please comment, let me know. Uh, other than that, guys, have a blessed day and I will see you in Tuesday's video.